Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm not sure if point guards really understand what's about to happen on NBA 2K23. How limited you're going to be in how many dribble animations you could actually perform. As you guys see, Lonzo Ball, side-by-side -side comparison from NBA 2K22 to 2K23. Now, a lot of people have seen this, but they don't know the numbers, which is what I want to deliver to you guys. What does this mean? On the right side, I counted about 10 chained dribble moves. What does that mean in comparison to NBA 2K22? This is really important, y'all. Some great information here. I got the numbers for what Handles for Days did for your players in NBA 2K22. Consider the idea that running Handles for Days in NBA 2K22 at the bronze level would allow you guys about 14 chain dribble moves before your stamina bar is depleted. As you guys see on the right side there, he does about 10 dribble moves before his stamina bar is depleted. In comparison to 2K22, that's like running handles for days on bronze when you have it on Hall of Fame. This is how 2K plans to incorporate balance into NBA 2K23. You guys have to play smarter, use your dribble moves way more sparingly and way more effectively. For you guys running handles for days on 2K22 at the Hall of Fame level, you guys are allotted 28 chain dribble moves, which it seems like it's endless. As you guys can see on the left side, he's chaining all of these dribble moves together and not barely losing any stamina. Not even a quarter of the bar depletes, but only 10 dribble moves depletes your whole bar for NBA 2K23. Surely players are still gonna have to run handles for days at the highest level. It's just not gonna have the same impact that it's had in previous versions of 2K. One of the most goaded playmaking badges and one of the first go-to badges for most playmakers in all previous versions of 2K. But in NBA 2K23, it looks like that's all going to change. And you guys don't forget that the same goes for defense. You guys who like to play defense, spamming the steel button is a thing of the past as quickly as you see uh 10 dribble moves deplete the stamina bar is as quickly as it's going to deplete your defensive stamina bar as well but not only that you're going to lose attributes for steel and you're also going to lose attributes for block attempts so if you're going on too many block attempts spamming the block button you will lose attribute ratings for that attribute as well now i know a ton of players want to make point guard bills it's been a thing for 2k for as long as i can remember people just love to make point guard bills out there but i want to reference this tweet from badge plug he says play shots not getting glitchy quick drops is such a w for nba 2k 23 i had a 510 build that went absolutely crazy this year on nba 2k 22 could finish get contact dunks shoot threes it was just a great experience overall but not having that option is gonna leave point guards that make these builds to get these animations like the curry slide at 92 the trey young at 92 ball handle and some other dominant playmaking animations at 90 plus you're gonna want those animations so we're gonna see a ton of point guard builds as we have seen in nba 2k 22 but this time it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to finish in nba 2k 23 Batch Plug goes on to say, it really seems like if you make a small build to get that 92 ball handle and good shooting, you'll get eaten alive on defense. Whereas in NBA 2K22, you could still make a play shot build and have decent defense. And I experienced the same thing as well. Although play shots did get eaten up on defense a good majority of the time in NBA 2K22, you were still able to make a build with a high perimeter defense and a high steal rating. As per batch plug it looks like that is a thing of the past what are you play shots gonna do out there i know the 2k community i understand we go for balance so if you guys end up making smaller builds that are not getting open initially like we were getting open in nba 2k 22 the community is gonna make a very quick adjustment in other words if there's no difference between a small build like at 6'1", 6'2", or even 5'10", something along those lines, if there's not much difference with what they can do in regards to playmaking and getting open for the shot, to comparing that to like a 6'4", 6'5", build, best believe a 6'4", 6'5", build that can finish well and shoot decent, 
Best believe the 2K community will indeed go with the latter and go for a 6465 build. All of this is just speculation. It remains to be determined, but we will soon see upon the release of NBA 2K23. Super interesting stuff to look forward to in NBA 2K23. I am getting more excited by the day. When we could put balance over everything, it looks like this is going to be a game that will have somewhat of a skill gap. The strong will stand and survive. The weak will fall to the wayside. What are your thoughts for NBA 2K23? Are you excited? 1 to 10. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, keep it locked here at All City Live TV because the second we get any information for NBA 2K23, we will be dropping it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video. Drop a sub, drop a like on your way out. Easy, y'all.